Hi, it's Kylie Koo. Today for the CAC hashtag event, hashtag trash to treasure, I'm going to be making a very simple and straightforward art journal. And I'll make this from an old painting of mine and some paint drop sheets. So let's get started. Minimum tools are required for this. A ruler and or a pair of scissors and uh, a bone folder, although the back of the scissors would also do. The only other thing you'll need is an awl or a pokey tool and a needle and some thread of some sort. So while I would normally use uh, waxed thread, uh, I can't find that, so I'm just using some embroidery thread today. So here I have an old drop sheet for my paints and a painting that uh, I was working on for quite some time. You see it's got some actual real leaves in there. It's sat about now for quite some time and I've decided it's time to let it go and to, to reuse it. And that's another drop sheet and you'll see the back of that is fairly plain. These are A3 size sheets of paper so what I'm basically going to do is to cut these in half and you'll see I'm just putting a firm crease into them and then these can either be cut or I'm just going to use my ruler to tear along the sheets. That gives a slightly rougher edge but that's fine for the purpose for which I want them. So I'll do that with each of the sheets. It's an interesting feeling letting go of art in this way. This has sat about for so long that uh, I'm really now quite pleased that I've found a different use for it. It was one of those paintings where the process was more important than the, the finished item, although in fact that, that wasn't a fully finished item anyway. So what I'm going to do now is just to fold each of these sheets into half and make them into one signature. Now you could, if you want, use something like a cereal box to make a cover for them, but I'm not fussy about that for this particular one. I'm just going to make it as a signature and use it in that way. So just getting the sheets into the sort of running order that I want. Now just folding them in half, just using the bone folder to get a crease along the centre before I look to uh, bind it. And there we have the signature. So a lot of background pages there that uh, will make a good starting point for some journal pages. So what I'm going to do now is take the awl and punch three holes into this. It's a very simple straightforward method of binding. So I'm just going to load up my needle with the embroidery thread. This is actually quite tough, so good enough for this job. I'll take, usually I'll take around two and a half, but I think I measured about three lengths here. And that's always uh, more than enough to do the binding. And I just want to make certain that they're all in place. Now I saw someone else use this technique recently and I thought uh, it was really helpful. So what I've done is to open up a yellow pages and I'll use this to hold my pages in place in the centre 
and it's also helpful because when I poke through with the awl it goes into the book rather than it going into the table or into my craft mat. And just making sure that it goes all the way through. I'm now putting one above the centre hole. And another below the centre hole. And I'm just checking that all the pages are still in place. Because the sheets were loaded with paint it was actually quite difficult to see where I'd made some of the holes. But there we go. Decided I want to clip the pages together just to hold them in place for doing the actual binding. And again, I'm just checking that the holes have gone right through and that they're all aligned. Oh, quick sip of coffee. So I'm going from the inside through the middle hole. I'm going to leave a tail on that and then I'm going to go up to the top hole and push it through. Now I had a little bit of difficulty there so I just took the awl again and pushed it back through. It may just have been a chip of paint or something that was preventing the needle from going through. Just ensuring that that's tight and going straight down to the bottom hole. I then come up the outside again and through the middle hole. Now when doing this you just have to be careful that you don't catch the thread. Uh, because you can go through that and it just makes it difficult when you're trying to tighten it. So I've just gone at this a couple of times to make sure that I've got it in the right place. And again just using the awl as a guide for taking it through. So once I've got it through I make sure that I've got a thread on each side of the centre thread. Just making sure that they're all tight. Looking at to the outside to make sure that uh, there's no slack there and then just tying it with a few knots and trimming off the centre. Now you could put a piece of glue on that if you wanted to but generally don't find a need to. So there we have it, a very simple and straightforward art journal made from an old painting and some drop sheets. I hope you enjoyed this, do look out for the art uh, of the other artists in this challenge by typing in hashtag trash to treasure. Thank you for watching.